Hey everyone, welcome back to another Godzilla Battling video. I'm recording this after I recorded the video, so I'm just going to put this in front of the video, then the rest of the video will play. You know the drill. I wanted to mention a few things before we get started. In this video, I say that uh, all of the, or I believe I say that all of the stats that you gain in studio mode are the same across the board. That's not entirely true. There are, yes, plenty of units that have the exact same uh, progression, like Godzilla Ultima and uh, Batra have almost a one-to-one, -one, or I think actually a one-to-one -one growth rate, so they both end up with like 1.8% damage, right? Characters like Naranga and uh, Mothra Leo both end up getting like 1.2% speed and like 0.9% damage, so not all the characters are universal, but there is a lot of shared commonality between all of the characters so expect a guide on this channel for which characters have the best buffs for showdown mode and which characters will give you the best buffs for the arena so buffs for showdown mode are like the star ranks and stuff like that and the buffs for the arena is like your speed and your damage and stuff like that this video is only covering like you know meta characters or characters in the arena like what you should be upgrading for your deck regardless of how uh, I think their stats for showdown are and stuff like that. Obviously, that'll play a big part, but this video is mostly just me giving you a list on what I think is a top priority level up regardless of the stat gains given. Just something that would be beneficial to your deck regardless of the boost, you know? So, additionally, I just want to throw this in here as well, that rush orders... Uh, we are discovering that the rush order buff that you can get from upgrading in studio mode actually lowers the gem costs of your showdown timer. So if you get like a 15% uh, fifteen percent boost to your showdown rush order or whatever it's called, you're only going to end up paying like 105 gems or something like that to just, you know, core out as soon as it starts, right? So... Obviously, the gems that it costs to speed up your showdowns gets lower and lower, uh, you know, as time goes on, like a normal expedition map. But having a higher showdown uh, operation rush, whatever the hell it's called, that will make it even cheaper for you. So just wanted to get that out of the way. I wrote it down in my little book. So thank you all for watching this. Uh, you can go now and watch the tier list or you might have skipped this. So in any case, have fun in the video. Hey everyone, welcome back to another Godzilla Battleline video, and today we are taking a look at every character in the game, or at least the characters that are available in the studio mode, forgot the name of the mode, and I'm giving you my opinions on who I think are good to upgrade, who I think you can maybe sit on, and all that jazz. So this is being filmed on July 5th, 2022. This video will probably go live a day or two after, I don't know, but... This guide should be good for a few months. We'll come back to this maybe on stream or something or another video in a few months from now and go through it because there'll be some buffs, some nerfs, new characters. So we'll come back when that happens. Now, just because, for example, you know, we have priority, solid choices, no rush, not applicable. I think you can figure out kind of what those are. Priority, probably should get those done, right? Invest your star points in those. Solid choices, not going to hurt to put your points in them. No rush. Probably don't need to do that, and then not applicable, that's like energy-based, things that you can't put your star points into. However, for example, say I put Gigano 4 in No Rush, but you want his skin, go for it. I I dumped everything in Ultima to get his skin, and I don't really think he's a priority, right? So if you want to get a skin, who am I to stop you from getting that skin, putting on that fresh drip, going into battle? That being said, strategically wise might not be the best idea and that's what we're going with i'm i'm not you know probably not going to take skins into too much consideration on this list so if there's something in no rush that you want the skin for feel free to go for it don't listen to me but if you want the stats the boosts what's good for the meta this list is for you so that being said let's get into it uh we got hetera right over here i think hetera is probably in no rush uh, Hedera just got her damage fixed, actually, for her Acid Pool, so she is really, really good, but she is kind of slow in the meta. Uh, I think, actually, I'm sorry, before we go any further, I forgot to, I completely forgot to mention that all of the boosts for characters, uh, where's the abilities? This is all the boosts, I, you can kind of see it above my head, but everyone is going to get a plus 1.8%, a plus 0.6% for their movement speed, or the 0.8% is for damage, and then the HP is 0.6% gain, all right? That is for everyone. Across the board, everyone is getting the same number. So, I just figured I would mention that. 
The Hetera is going to no rush. Don't really think she is too incredible at the moment, although I really do like her a lot. I wanted to check her rank rewards and see if I'm missing anything. You get the title, obviously, the Star Hetera. No skins or anything like that, so. Feel free to just... You can skip her for now. Uh, Terrestrius and Ultima, I'll put... I'll put just him here, but I'll put Ultima in solid choices. So, well, I guess they would both go together. So, they're together in this. Both of them have a skin. I put a lot into it. Ultima is one of the main damage dealers of my deck, a lot of people's decks, and he's one of the top characters in the game. He has been for a long time. I don't think he's a top priority because he's not meta. You could obviously use different characters for that damage. You don't need to use Ultima in your deck, but I don't think he's a bad idea either. Burning Godzilla, I don't really think there is a rush to level him up at all. Uh, his buffs have made him a little bit better. I've been seeing him a lot in play, actually, but I really don't think that he is overall too important, so I think you can probably skip him. Kiryu. Good cho also, I'm not putting these in any particular order. This is just, I'm just throwing him in the, in the, in the lane. Kiryu has always been a really good unit. A lot of Kiryus are, are seeing a lot more play these days because Kiryu is available in the store. People are leveling up their Kiryus. Mine is level 11. I came across level 21 in the arena. Crazy. Kiryu's doing a ton of damage. Very good. Hitting the leader. Getting that extra bit of damage in to finish a fight or to, you know, initiate a fight. Solid choice. Solid choice in the arena. Pretty good option. All right. Fire Rodan. You get a skin for him. One of the meta units of the season, while he is suffering a little bit because Mecha King Ghidorahs are now guaranteed and they can take him down really easily, you're going to want to put some into Fire Rodan, especially if you're using him a lot. And obviously with the priorities, you know, if you're not using Fire Rodan, don't feel like I'm telling you you have to upgrade Fire Rodan. If you're not using him, don't even worry about it. But if you are using Fire Rodan in your deck, throw some points into him. Get that skin, get those stats, it's only going to help him out. Airbase is not applicable. Angiris. Angiris is a solid choice, I think. Angiris is pretty tanky, so you want to get more health on him. He, I mean, he's going to get like a 0.6 health boost, right? It's not too, too much. But uh, I, mean, I can't even find Angiris on this thing. Here we go. But, I mean, listen, you're going to get some damage. You're going to get the health boost. You're going to get a little bit of a speed boost. It's going to help him tank, and that's what's important. That's what you want him to do. He's a really good option. You could feel comfortable putting everything that you have into Angiris. No skin, but good stats nonetheless. Batra and Batra Larva, really good units. Obviously, they're meta. I don't got to tell you how good they are. And the stats just make them better. And the skin is pretty cool. It's like a little crackling of lightning. I just got my Batra actually to 20 yesterday or maybe this morning. And his skin looks like this, so... I like it a lot. Big recommendations on Batra, of course. Biolante and Biolante's pre-evo. Obviously, they're good characters. They have been good characters for a really long time. I don't think you need to worry about putting any star points into them. I think they're pretty solid. And, I mean, they're just going to do a crazy amount of damage. I mean, they have a really great AoE, so... Hmm. I'm not going to put them into priority. But if I had to pick a character that is just not in priority, it's Bailante. Because of the 360 AoE, you're getting a massive amount of damage out. So that 1.8% damage boost, while like just a little bit, is is overall a really helpful thing. So, big fan of that. Stealth Bomber is not applicable. Psychic Course is not applicable. Desgadora. I think Desgadora also is a solid choice. Any unit with piercing is going to be a solid choice. Ultraman. Oh my god. Uh, Earth. Desgadora, all very good options. The piercing is insane. Desgadora also has a stun, has burns. If you're using Desgadora as your one of your main DPS in your deck, I've, there's a few of you out there. I know there is. I've been running into you in Arena, and I've seen you in my discords. If you are a Desgadora main, throw your pieces into Desgadora, because it's only going to help them out. Destroy a Larva, no rush. Destroy a Perfect Form's not in the game yet. We don't know if, if the Larva's going to get a buff or not. I lo a lot of people suspect that there's going to be a buff for him eventually. I don't know. I brought him to 30 in the arena, like with coins. That's probably as high as I'm taking him for now. No, I'm not interested at all in putting any coins into him. Dimension Tide is not applicable. The Dorats, there's no rush for the Dorats. While there is an argument to be made that you could substitute them for the Kamakaris in your deck. 
they, they're just not as beefy as the Kamakras are, so putting your coins into them is okay, but it's not something that I'm going to go out and recommend that you do, but if you want to, if you want to go for it, I don't think it's a good idea. Sunday, not applicable. G21. Now, G21, I don't think there's a rush for because not a, not, not a lot of people are running G21 in the first place, and a lot of people have them at low levels. There's a lot more G materials flying around, so you can level them up. However, Yours is probably pretty low. If you want him to be a little bit better, the health boost he's getting isn't great. The speed boost he's getting is pretty good to get him to where he needs to go. The damage boost is always good, especially on him with basically infinite damage boost. But not a lot of them running around. Not very high priority in the meta. Not going to be the case. Uh, the perfect form... or not the, for, for, uh, not the perfect form. The flying form for Hetera, uh, I think only benefits in Hetera's case from the health and da i don't know if they benefit from all the other boosts but i'll, I'll just put them in the no rush category uh Kamakaris swarm isn't an option regular Kamakaris, i think is a um potential solid choice obvious if you haven't noticed with this list the solid choices is full of characters that are pretty in the meta or off meta right so Kamakaris has been in there for a while not seeing too too much play these days from a lot of decks because of trains and dimension tide so if you're still running kamakaris like myself and you're getting good use out of them that 0.6 percent health boost is solid and that damage is really solid as well for stopping like a g89 push or uh king caesars or leos or i just punched the mic but what have you so solid choice i'm not worried about my kamakaris anytime soon but they're an option right I'm, I'm going after characters that i think have good skins and that are going to help my deck kamakaris is going to help my deck but i want to make sure all the characters in my deck are dripped the fuck out before i go for the non-skins king caesar king caesar is i'm not in any rush to get king caesar especially with the mothra leo update i think mothra leo is a much better option in my opinion but uh, King Caesar, not a, not really in a rush. I guess if you have him at level 30, you could put some points into him, but I, I don't think it's too big of a deal. All right, King Ghidorah. King Ghidorah is a solid option, and I'll put Mecha King Ghidorah with him as well. Mecha King Ghidorah is back. You know, got a mid-season nerf last month for whatever reason. And now with the buff that you're guaranteed Mecha King Ghidorah every match... Having more damage on him is great. You know, he's only doing better than regular King Ghidorah by 69 damage per level, right? It's going to be 69. And and Des Ghidorah is still doing more damage than Mecha King Ghidorah is at an even level. So, put some extra damage on your Mecha King Ghidorah. You're, you're bull and you're running with the bulls, right? So, so, really solid option. Really, really solid option. All right, Markalite, not applicable. Base, not applicable this not applicable this not applicable is there any others that i can go through real quick that aren't applicable this one isn't this one isn't this one isn't either i guess this one really isn't because this no this one because he doesn't move at all but this one is applicable so i'll keep him uh, yeah okay i guess we're gonna roll with that oh nope 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 missiles okay oh wait nope mogara actually i guess this does this one does apply because he gets a health boost and he has health. He's not... Ah, whatever. All right. Mecha Godzilla. Probably not in any rush. Mid unit and Rodan is pretty much the same way. I just skipped all the way to Rodan, but we say it on stream all the time. Mecha Godzilla and Rodan are the, like, middest of units. They are born and bred to be mid. You're in no rush to upgrade them. Mecha Gear is... I don't think there's a huge rush to upgrade them. Obviously a very good choice, but in the grand scheme of other really good choices, I think Mega Gears is lower on the priority list than, say, uh, King Ghidorah is, right? Or Mothra is, right? So pretty low on that totem pole. Manila, I think, is a really good choice as well. Manila gets a skin. Manila has a good stun. You get a little bit more damage on Manila. I don't know. I don't think he's a priority. I think he's a solid option. A lot of people aren't really running him. I gotta put him. Uh, I'll put him in no rush. I'll put him in no rush. I don't want to. I don't want to be biased and put him in solid choices. 
Manila is not seeing too, too much play these days, and with Ultraman running around, being immune to stun, Manila is seeing even less play, so... You get a skin out of it. I, I'm, I rushed Manila to 20. I'm a big fan of Manila. I don't really think the average player needs to bring Manila up. I just did because he's in my deck. I don't really think you need to. All right, Mothra, Leo. They're not even together over here. Whatever. Mothra, Leo, or... Mothra, Leo's down here. Mothra, Larva. Both L's. And regular Mothra. Uh, no rush. They're good. They're not great. For the four cost... There are, I think, better options. Maybe not for four, but for five. Leo is a very good, very, very good side option. This Mothra is an evolution unit. This one is not. I think that... Uh, does Mothra have a skin, actually? I think Mothra might have a skin. Uh, rank rewards. It's like the dust. It's like the fairy dust. You get a skin. So if you want to rush Mothra, you totally can. But I don't think it's that important. To get her up, I think if you're going to focus on any Mothra, you're want to going to go with Leo. Leo's buffs this season, while not a, not a substantial overhaul of his kit, definitely, definitely, definitely is leading him to see a lot more play. Combo him with Dimension Tide, and you are cooking with gas. It is a... D d I'm stuttering. That's how good it is. It is a deadly combination, and I'm a big, big fan of it, so... Dimension Tide, Mothra Leo, very good. Mothra Leo, solid choice. Regular Mothra, maybe not so much. Space Godzilla. Good off meta unit. Doesn't really need the extra damage because he's not really meant to be doing damage. He's meant to be like a distraction and give a buff. So he's more of a support unit. I mean, you can make that argument for Batra. Is Batra is meant to be a buff, but Batra is an aggressive character that's fast and gets into the fight really quickly. And Space Godzilla pretty much is not doing as much damage, but he's like, he's like making crystals and stuff, having a good time. So I don't think he's that important. I don't think he has a skin either. Does he? No way. Definitely not. No. So he doesn't even have a skin. You don't even got to worry about it. GD9. G89, I think, is a solid... Actually, I'll change that. I think G89 is a priority piece. Mine is level 11 at the moment. But G9, you don't get any skins from him in this mode. And we thought maybe his Biolante Goose skin would be in this mode, but it's not. So probably will be in an offer or all-star battle later down the line. Who knows? But I think he's priority. Why? He's probably one of the best leaders in the game, period. He's the definitely the most used leader. And while my newt... I didn't want that. Uh, he gets you all the characters get leader bonuses if they are leader characters So rank 9 gets 0.5% more HP as leader. He already has a ridiculous amount of HP as leader And I think there's leader damage. Yep at rank 17 0.5% leader damage. You want to see how confident I am in him? I'll throw I'll throw some right into him right now literally gonna get him practically to 13. So That's how confident I am in him. I upgraded him right now in front of you Good option, best leader, in my opinion, best leader, sec or not second, only leader that is second to him, I think, is either Gigan or Mecha King Ghidorah, right? So, I think he's a really good priority option. Gigan. I think Gigan has to go up there as well. Gigan is a very popular leader, seeing a lot of play. If you don't use Gigan as your leader, do not feel like you have to put points into Gigan as your leader. If you are a Gigan Leader user, you should definitely be putting points into Gigan Leader. While, you know, at least get him to level 17 so he can get the maximum leader benefits. You don't need to take them the leaders to 20 if you don't want to. Neither of them have skins, right? Gigan doesn't have a skin, no. But you have to at least get them to level 17 and you can get 0.5% to leader damage, 0.5% to leader health. If they're your leader, you're going to want them to be as beefy as possible. G9 and Gigan, put your tokens into them if you use them as your leader. I think that goes without saying. I think you would have to be brain dead not to be upgrading the leader that you're using, right? So, Gigan, good choice. Jet Jaguar, singular point, I think is... Oh God, I want to say he's a solid choice. He's not really seeing a lot of play, which is unfortunate. He has better DPS than Biolante does when Biolante's not in the water. But 
with the Ultraman Pierce thing going around and Super X's, they kind of run through his shield really quickly and then he's just quick to die, so solid option if you want. I'm not recommending him. If you want to do it, I like his DPS, but other than that, it's whatever. Kong. Not, no rush for Kong. Same reasons as, as G21. Kind of difficult to upgrade him. No one's really using him. You're probably not using him. I'm using him as a leader just so I can grind out wins. And once I get that icon, he is out of there, right? So, no reason to use him. No rush. G54. I want to say G54 is a solid choice. Because so far, the only option of characters that he can transform into that isn't a solid choice, in my opinion, is Burning Godzilla. But even then, Burning Godzilla for 3 cost is really, really, really good. So, I think that if you are wanting to use G54 in your deck, I've seen a, I'm seeing a lot, and I mean a lot, of G54s in play these days. Solid option. Go for it. Uh, he's a great tank, great damage dealer, uh, and he gives you a bunch of units on the cheap. No reason not to, if, especially if you want to use him as your as your leader, or not as your leader, as your, like, your main damage dealer or tank. And because he's purchasable in the store, seeing a lot more play these days. So, seal of approval. Right? Okay? Yeah, I'm like having a stroke doing hand motions, but I'm just going to go with the thumbs up. Two thumbs up. Alright, Gigan. I think this Gigan is a solid choice, but I also don't think there's any rush for him. I'm going to say there's no rush for this Gigan. There's not a lot of them seen play, and you kind of need a really high level for them to be effective in the arena. However, he has one of the best skins in the game. Where is he? I have mine at level 7, because I want to get that skin, but I don't use him at all. The Mummy Gigan is an amazing skin. Amazing skin. I love it. I think it's the best skin at this point in time when this video goes live. This is the best skin in the game, hands down in my opinion. The Mummy Gigan is sick. I love it. There's no reason to upgrade him other than that. Just saying. Earth. Earth is amazing. He has great stats. He has great damage. Why not give him more? Make him even scarier. And he has a sick skin. Earth is on my list of characters I'm also going to begin upgrading. His skin is fire. Literally. He's... I think this is... My Discord says he's the Scarlet form. I said he's burning. Listen, you can't change my mind. That's burning to me. But they say that's the Scarlet form. Scarlet Earth is really fire. Like it a lot. Alright, Judge Jaguar. No rush. There are some users that are getting some success out of Jet Jaguar at higher levels. 99% of the players don't probably have him past 10, right? Or 6. So, not a real priority. Not amazing at the lower lower ranks. I'm not going to recommend him to you. Additionally, I don't think the Shin Godzillas either are worth putting points into. I think that they come with a victory pose and that's it. I can't even preview the victory poses, which is unfortunate. They're not see every when the rank or the rent ten went away, poof. So did the Shin Godzillas. They're not seeing a lot of play right now. They're not going to be seeing play for a few months. Uh, if you want to use them as your leader, then that should be your priority. But if you're using them as a lead as a unit, no rush. Not an amazing choice for that. Now characters that you want to see naranga and ultraman so we'll do naranga first and i hate the way that i put in naranga's look look at this picture it's like all cut off he was too small just to compress down you wouldn't have even seen him but and then the tearless cut him off I, I don't like it but that's what we're going with he looks like the joker with this mouth but naranga i don't think there's a rush for naranga very good unit i think eventually he'll be a solid choice however him being a new gold unit means that it's going to take the average player maybe a month or two to build him up to where he would be viable in the arena at all. And the stats that you're getting from this mode are not going to make him instantly viable, right? The the 1.8 damage boost is literally maybe only like 100 damage, give or take, depending on what unit it's going on to. So... Naranga, while I think is a solid unit, I think is going to see a lot of off-meta play like Angiris. I do not think that there is a mad dash to be made for him 
because he's just not there yet for most players, right? I might invest in him in a little bit. Mine is 15. Uh, I'm liking him a lot. I'm trying to get him to 30 as fast as I possibly can because in fear that he might be taken away at some point, I want him to be as high as I can possibly go. Last but not least is Ultraman. Ultraman is cracked. Dude, Ultraman is insane right now in the game. The level 10 rented Ultraman is wild in rank 65 everyone is using ultraman pretty much as a as a substitute for super x and you get piercing with him he has knockback when he comes down on the field he flies he is on the ground he can benefit from ground buff and flying buffs and he benefits from like g89 or kong or anything that buffs damage for a certain energy like field and he's long range Toho really just said, fuck up GBL and make Ultraman the best Godzilla character, like the best unit in the Godzilla game. Make it Ultraman. By far one of the best units right now. I brought mine to level 8, as you can see right here. He's sick. I'm a big, 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 big fan of Ultraman in this game. I literally, I'm trying to zoom in on him and talk to you guys at the same time, but he literally is cracked out in this game. Ultraman is so good right now. This season especially, he is phenomenal. If you have him unlocked, you should be leveling him up as much as you can for whatever levels that you can take him to. He's really good. He's going to be really good for a long time. A level 30 Super X, he has better stats at level 3 than a level 30 Super X does. Just saying. And it's going to take him maybe level 5 or 6 to out... I mean, maybe even out DPS Super X. Super X attacks three times. It does like 186 damage a hit at level 30 uh, times three. That's almost 500 damage, about give or take 500 damage. Level this guy up. He's going to be doing that at level three. He's doing, I don't even know how much, but let's, let's take a look at my, at my page right here. Let's go to his details. Let's look at his stats. His damage right there, 443. 443 damage. I get the plus two from the leader, from the you know character bonus doesn't matter his damage if it hits multiple if it hits a second unit in any capacity is already doing more at 10 than super x is doing at 30 okay right and you could take it, his damage and calculate however which way you want for however much he's hitting i spent way too much time ranting about ultraman amazing unit priority number one for me is getting ultraman as high as i possibly can before this season ends so this list, complete list on the board, is the characters that I think you should prioritize, characters that I think are solid options for your deck, characters that I don't think you need to rush for, and then everything that's not available. So, that being said, thank you all so much for watching this video. Don't forget, at 50,000 fans in Gods of Battleline, your character will earn you a G material, so spend those star tokens wisely. Thank you all so much for watching. I will catch you all on the next one. Bye-bye.